Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Cinderella Phenomenon. Yay! Phenomenon. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, we're done. We're so good. Okay, next time on the Well Rooms. That was beautiful. And we're done. Goodbye. No No more. God. All right, so last time on the Well Room, we met this man. This man, who we now know the name of because we actually watched the intro. Yeah, his name, his name is Rumple. Because he likes to make women sew their hair into gold. No. Their, no, it was hay. Hay into gold. I don't know what voice I should put on for this guy, though. You two are angels that have fallen <laughs> out of it. There we go, that's it. That's the voice that's now. That's the voice now. Uh, <laughs> I see. What can a humble gentleman like myself do for you lovely ladies? Uh. <laughs> ah, you could join me on this bet. Oh god, I picked the- <laughs> You know what? I picked the perfect voice. <laughs> it's very comfortable and there's plenty of room for the both of you. I'll follow your lead on this one, princess. Princess? Oh, of course, such a beautiful lady can only be a princess. And he tips his fedora. <laughs> Look at the noble way you hold up the tray. <sighs> up to you. <laughs> I don't want him as a love interest. <laughs> throw the tray at him. Throw a tray. Do it. Can I throw the tray at him? I'm tempted to let you. Feisty as well. Oh, be still my beating... Cheeto filled heart. <laughs> huh? You. Oh, he's awake! <laughs> Fucking parfait. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> he's like, oh. I forgot I was parfait for, <laughs> for like half a second. <laughs> Another lovely lady has entered my chambers. <laughs> chambers? I don't think my heart can handle the perfection of three of you at once. You should have had, like, pretending you have braces and you're like, Here is he, guys! Oh. He's so beautiful! Oh, no, I, you know the problem is I can't do that. You can't do that? I don't know how to do That's that. That's my Naruto voice. That's my Naruto it's, it's, it sounds. It sounds really bad. It's here is he, my Naruto voice. He's so cool. Man, you are gonna hate tomorrow. <laughs> That's how I used to talk to my friends in high school. Jesus <laughs> Whenever we would get together for anime club, I'm like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I think I know how Casanova here got those head injuries. Some lady decided she had enough of his rubbish and wanted to punish him. Dolora, patience! He may not even be in the right state of mind right now. I hope not. He did take injuries to the head after all. The man finally stops to look just at me. He narrows his eyes and stares so hard I almost want to slap him. What? You're familiar. <laughs> but no, it's impossible. I'm trying to do the breakfast thing like so <laughs> subconsciously I'm trying to add it like slowly but surely. Aren't you the cro- oh, God, I can't do it. <laughs> Aren't you the crown princess? What are you doing here? <gasps> yes. If he knows, then he's... Well, he's definitely not a witch or a fairy. Can only mean one thing if he recognizes the ice princess. What's your name, good sir? <sighs> I would answer any questions you ask of me, madam, but... The man looks down at, an, at the notebook in his hand. I don't remember. <gasps> <gasps> Amnesia? I know everything about An Angelel. Angel. <laughs> and yet I don't know the first thing about myself. Except that I have the Rumpelstiltskin curse. Rumpelstiltskin? That, is that a fairy tale? Oh, I used the wrong voice for her. Oh, well. I knew it. He's got the fairy tale curse. Fairy tale curse? I have the Rumple Foreskin curse. Oh god! Do you remember how to break the Rumple oh, Foreskin god. curse? No! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. From what I remember.
remember, I need to somehow collect three memories and get them to appear in this journal as entries. What the fuck? That seems... <laughs> really hard. <laughs> How abstract. He shows us the notebook he's been holding onto since he entered the room. My first memory is waking up and holding this. I thought there would be information in here, but it's empty. <laughs> Another victim of the curse. My must, you must be tired. Saki will leave your breakfast here and we'll give you some time to yourself. We'll be outside if you need anything else. Hmm. <laughs> and like that, we're gone. <laughs> Rumple foreskin! <laughs> what is that fairy tale about? You don't want to know. Mm. <laughs> Dolores like, oh god. Rumple foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> Dolores does not do a good job of hiding her laughter. She's a bitch. She snorts and I cross my arms, embarrassed. Mother burned the fairy tales in the palace before I got a chance to read them all. All of them. <laughs> sorry, all sorry. All. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll keep it short. Once upon a time, there was a girl that was said to be able to spin straw into gold. The king found her and locked her up in a tower. He said he wouldn't let her out until she turned all the straw in the room into gold. But the girl was just a regular human girl. She knew she would never be able to turn the straw into gold and feared that she would be locked up forever. That was when an odd little man named Rumple Foreskin, <laughs> appeared before her and offered to do the job for her if she gave him something in return. Is it bad that, like, I imagine, like, Rob Schneider's face? <laughs> <laughs> like, I immediately knew who it was. Like, Rob Schneider. That's... Rob Schneider. And he's like, hey, guys. <laughs> and, no, and, he, and he has, like, and he's, like, in a weird, he's weirdly being offensive by putting on some sort of, like, Rob Schneider is the only Hollywood actor who has successfully put on, like, my, like he's you know how like this black face right yeah he's put on like like red face like Native American mm -hmm. outfits and gone away with it and he's also put on like like a Middle Eastern outfit and like he just gets away with it we don't we just, we just let it happen yeah it's true anyway <laughs> <laughs> it's so true I read that part the girl gave him her necklace. That's not the story. She's supposed to give, like, he asks for her baby, yep. I think. Yeah. Necklace, and the man spent the rest of the night spinning the straw into gold. However, the girl wasn't released. The second night, she was given more straw to spin, and the little man appeared once more. This time, she gave him her ring. On the third night, the king ordered her to spin the straw one last time, and if she did, she would be released and made his queen. Ew. However, that night the girl had nothing left to give the little man, so she made an agreement. He would spin the straw into gold for her, as long as she gave him her first child. Okay, there it is. I personally never understood why the girl would want to marry the king in the first place. Thank you, Parfait. Hush, I'm trying to tell a story here. Thank you, Parfait. Eh. <laughs> Thank you. Years passed, and the queen finally gave birth to her first child. That night, the odd little man returned and demanded his due, but the queen didn't want to give up her child. The man then said that he wouldn't take the child if the queen was able to guess his name in three days. Okay. Rumble Forskin didn't have to do that. He could have just taken, taken the, the child. child. Yeah. The man's name was Rumble Stillskin. I can. Did she guess it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No big. That's a common name here. <laughs> the night before her time was officially up, the queen was drawn to the forest by the sound of a little voice. She saw the little man celebrating his upcoming victory, singing about how nobody had or ever would guess his real name, which was Rumpelstiltskin. He does not sound particularly smart. He's fucking not. So agrees the general populace. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how Hans is able to come up with such a tall tale. <laughs> Fucking Hans. I forgot about Hans. <laughs> well, the Martian is opening soon. I expect another busy day. Especially busy for you, Saki. You need to start coming up with good deeds. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't the end of the story, though. She didn't even finish telling the story. She did, technically. 
She's able to guess the name and then Rumble still doesn't get pissed and Yeah, but she didn't say that part. She just ended there. Like the queen saw him dancing and being stupid. No, no, because Saki asked, Hey, did was she able to guess? He's like, Oh yeah. Oh okay, never mind. Yeah, that's weird. The amnesiac Casanova was allowed to stay at the margin with the other boarders. Because he still seemed capable, Parfait sent him to work as one of the Marchand servers. Anise's protest that he remain in bed fell on deaf ears. Parfait wouldn't very well throw him out, not well knowing that he had nowhere to go. I would be incapable of showing him such kindness given all the nonsense he spouts at us. The people that frequent the Marchand began to steadily ignore me altogether, like I do not exist is better than the stares and the hateful looks. <laughs> Rumpel, you aren't here to flirt! But this lovely lady is unattended! <laughs> God. Sir Rumpel, please, you're making me blush. Because the man couldn't remember his name, he fashioned one from his own curse. Rumpel, I think it suits him. <laughs> like his foreskin. <laughs> I will never understand Parfait. This amorous waste of space is about as useful as karma. Bitch. And then karma comes- Oh! No! I've returned! Well, shit. Speak of the devil. Did you miss me? Karma had left abruptly yesterday, saying that she had something very important to take care of. Waltz trails in after her now, carrying several boxes in his arms. Why am I carrying these? <laughs> because you made me run that errand for you at the toy shop the other day. And because gentlemen carry things for ladies. I'm going to drop them now, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those boxes contain very important contents! That's you. Was it? Yeah. Is it the same voice? I think it. Welcome home. Welcome home, Miss Karma! Nice to see you survive the trip, folks! Thank you, Anise. That's not his voice. That's not his voice. Meh. Meh. <laughs> so this is our new housemate. We did not have an opportunity to meet. I am. <gasps> Who are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> lord. <laughs> we are all surprised when Rumple suddenly reaches out and grabs Karma's hand. She looks very unimpressed. My life before this moment has been a depressing monochrome. Now that you've entered my bleak existence, I see everything beautiful, blazing color, milady, And nothing shines more brightly and more vividly than you. <laughs> Whoa, it's because I had a milady in there. It's so stupid. This is trash. <laughs> uh, oh, it's me. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's you. I am Rumpel, my sweet. Let us talk of marriage. Uh... <laughs> I stare at Karma, waiting for her to flirt back. At the very least, I expect her to wave Rumble away for being a fool. But she remains eerily silent. My answer, my angel, I beg of you. Oh god, it's because she's really a man. Keep. Say the word and it's done. Your filthy hands off me! <laughs> Everyone blacks out. <laughs> Ow! Not again. I would never be interested in the likes of you. No. Uh, Go on, lad. Give him a good beating, like the one you gave to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pass on the legacy of beatings. <laughs> the circle of beatings. <laughs> My queen, there is no need of violence. What did you call me? Please calm down, Rumble is still recovering. What's going on? Karma is a man. I knew it! Do doesn't take kindly to being flirting with uh, I flirting totally with. told I called it. Or proposed to. Uh, she... Is a man? <laughs> but your voice, your face, <laughs> your breasts, yes. That's what you're focusing on, pervert. 
I worship all aspects of the female form. Oh god. <laughs> like, uh, future Mitchell, I don't care how much work this takes. Uh, I'm telling you right now, I do not care how much work this takes. Put a small PNG fedora slowly but surely landing on Rumpel's head. I want you to do that for me. And if I, if you don't, and you forget to do this, I will be very disappointed in future you, which will be myself. I, <laughs> I worship all aspects of the female form, but my particular favorite has always been... Ow! Do yourself a favor and shut up. I never would have known, but why would he do this? Uh... Don't look at me like that. I have my reasons. Is it because your curse? Duh. Yes. <laughs> I... I am undone. My heart is in pieces. You knew him for ten minutes. For those that can hear the music of their heart... Once again, Mitchell, that fedora better be there. <laughs> like I, it takes only a look to fall madly in... In... Ever, in... In... Retro <laughs> Irretrievably in love. I believe in you, Mitchell. <laughs> I must leave. My heart needs time to heal. I want to know what Karma's curse is. I'm mm. really curious. Yeah, me too. The marching attracts all sorts, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that one is entirely Parfait's fault. All right, all right, nothing to see here. Back to work. <sighs> Saki's not working. I'm still in don't, shock don't, from don't what let, I learned earlier. <laughs> I'm so in shock. Because I called it was a man. <laughs> Karma, a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair that he's so beautiful as a woman. Jesus, Saki, come on. <laughs> <laughs> if the female population of Ange Angiel knew the truth, Karma would be hunted down for making the rest of us pale in comparison. Anise, being good, I suppose, prepared a special lunch to welcome the newest marching boarders. We have all been invited to the private dining room. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I don't remember this guy's voice. I think it was the, like, excuse me. I oh, think. excuse me, is yeah. Lady Parfait here? Prince Rod! Perfect timing! Please join us for lunch! I only came to talk to you, Lady Parfait. But I'm hungry! <laughs> I have no wish to make you eat while I eat! Come join us! <laughs> but I'm fucking hungry. Oh god, and then she's also here. <laughs> they'll have, they'll, the thing with Cinderella Phenomenon is it's very clear. This is the day after the Persona recording. And I am like exhausted voice wise. So it's just, so it's just like, oh yeah, I'll just throw whatever shit voice I have left, left from the Persona stream. Uh, Please, your highness! Uh, okay, can you just take it, niece? I clear. Yes, I cl it's fine. It's fine. Please, your highness. I've made too much, as usual. You must help us finish. And he pulls out a spoon out of his back pocket and he's like, well, time to eat my way out of another situation. Like, like it's happened to him multiple times. <laughs> Oh, he's pissed. Uh, very well. Yeah, motherfucker. A cursed prince and a cursed prince. No, the first one was princess. A cursed Shit. Princess. What did I say? A cursed prince and a cursed prince. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what an eccentric collection of friends you have, Lady Parfait. I wouldn't say that they were eccentric, necessarily. Just you. Just, You're just... the most eccentric one here, Rumble. Really now? Once again, Mitchell, that fedora comes <laughs> back down. It needs to be there. <laughs> I sit silently in my chair. I am uncomfortable around so many people. Even when Mother was alive, I had all my meals alone, since my parents were always too busy to sit down for meals with me. The meals with Ophelia and her children were also always awkward and silent. Somehow the atmosphere here is lively and friendly, even though I barely know anyone here. <sighs> is, some, is something wrong? Excuse me? You've barely touched your food. Don't you like it? Dolores said that was one of your favorites. Uh, 
I'm just not used to eating with company. That's all. Oh, they say that sharing a meal brings the family closer together. <laughs> Did you forget that I had that voice? Gallon! <laughs> that's my fake French accent. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I apologize. Closer together, huh? So, have you made any progress on how to do those good deeds, princess? There is no way I'm admitting that I do not even know how to complete one. Oh, I forgot. You're not so good on the doing good front. You are not very helpful. Why don't you ask someone to teach you how to do good? What? <laughs> Honey! <laughs> well, that's not something you hear every day. As in, take some kind of lessons? If you're having so much trouble on your own, you should ask someone to give you some advice or teach you. Like me! <laughs> <laughs> that's why I ask you for guitar, Mitchell. No, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'm your parfait of guitar. <laughs> Not just in that exact You're out. my parfait! <laughs> I'm gonna call you that. I'm gonna change you in my phone as parfait. Well, shit. You gotta, you gotta find like that exact screenshot <laughs> and everything. It's as simple as that. What is this I hear? The princess needs advice. Well then, she is in luck. I happen to give the most excellent advice, and believe me when I say I can teach almost anything. Oh, I get it. Your curse is the modest curse. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the princess is indeed lucky, as I am available for teaching duties. No doubt, I'd be a be the better choice is I don't go about deceiving the world, Mitchell Fedora. <laughs> the better be there. It's okay, I just imagine this turning into like some terrible game where he's just like, teaching is open, and <laughs> like, pushes up her skirt and she's like, the fuck? Oh god. <laughs> Excuse me. Now they're gonna fight. I wish. Oh, uh, from one side flirting to bitter enemies, and all in the span of a few hours. Uh, the, the, the man broke my heart. The man broke my heart. Well, kill <laughs> Anyway, I'd also be able to help you in any way I can, princess. And I'm sure your stepbrother would be happy to do it as well, right, Rod? <laughs> right, Rod? And then no. Rod, Rod has a spoonful of mashed potatoes <laughs> in his face. <laughs> Giant spoon. He's like, uh, no. <laughs> Unnecessarily large spoon of mashed potatoes. I don't think it would make... I would make the best teacher of this sort of thing. I only teach others how to fight. I only teach others how to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind the fact that... I can't breathe. I only teach others how to fuck. Never mind the fact that Jury in herself still struggles to be good. What? They're clearly a couple, right? I they, think so. They have to be. You're lucky, aren't you? So many people are willing to help you. Despite you being Why? a huge bitch. <laughs> hmm? Why are all... Why are you all willing to help me? I struggled with that sentence. <laughs> That's what we do at the Marchin. We help each other. Lesson number one. Doing good means helping whenever one can. Uh, I don't do that. Just let, <laughs> <laughs> just let any of us know if you want our help. Trust no one but yourself. You need not care for anyone but yourself. This is what mother and the last few years have taught me. I struggled with that one too. <laughs> I've always been alone, and it's easier that way, and yet, these strangers, these people that I've only known for a few days, are so willing to help me when they will gain nothing in return. Is this the goodness I was meant to see? Father? How can I even begin to trust and care for others when I have forgotten how to do so? God, I'm slowly beginning to understand what I must do. End of chapter. Oh, yeah. Oh, it actually is the end of the chapter. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the decision to date your brother. <laughs> <laughs>
Incest is wincest. Oh, gross. <laughs> it's so yucky. Ew. I'll never forget the first time I heard someone say that out loud. Oh, and, like, God. And, I, and I almost threw up in my mouth. It's gross. That's why, at least, I mean, it doesn't make it okay, but at least you're not blood related. Yeah. That doesn't make it okay, though, but royals did that, like, in history. Yes, but... Okay. Are you talking about that rain knowledge? Not, no! I'm saying it legit! You asshole! Don't out me like this! <laughs> you and Rain? Shut Have you watched start the second season of Rain yet? No, I haven't started that shitty show. I stopped after the first season. I just needed to complete it. She doesn't date her brother. <laughs> Piece of trash. <laughs> God. I don't see why this is necessary, Mitch. <laughs> of course this is necessary, princess. You work to show you can be useful. <sighs> For the last half hour, Parfait and Delora have been debating what chores they want to give me. I cannot believe they are seriously going to make me work like a commoner. I said that really Ohioan. <laughs> No free oh no freeloader freeloader blah 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 no freeloaders at the marchant remember and you can't pull the princess card anymore now that you you're a homeless peasant being demoted to a homeless peasant is not my fault if you really think about it it was kind of it was kind of me to demote you stop teasing her to Laura. Saki and has had a lot of a lot thrown at her already. The mad customers don't like the type of bread we're serving, <laughs> and they just chuck it at it's Saki. <laughs> it's been a really rough week for everyone. It's because it's wheat parfait. <laughs> it's wheat bread. <laughs> Listen, I thought that there was a healthy alternative. Okay. It's because you don't serve white bread. It's because it's not basic enough. <sighs> See, Saki's upset because she got brown thread at her, and now my feelings are hurt, too. <laughs> I'm only speaking the truth. Besides, working to live is the commoner's way of life, but at least it's rewarding. Ugh. But if you do nothing, you get nothing. No food, no clothes, no bed. You are no longer a princess, Saki. Life here at the Marchant is comfortable and you need to work for comfort. Remember that. What you do is your choice, princess. Do I even have a choice? No, not really, no. Let's see. How about cooking duties? No way, she'd burn a salad. <laughs> True. <laughs> she well, doesn't. she could, yeah, yeah, so I was like, yeah, no, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's valid. She could be a receptionist. Then we'd lose all of our customers. That's also true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here, you know. Dishwasher. <laughs> Dishwasher. Delores like, mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Do you have any useful skills at all? As a princess, I had servants who did everything for me. They cleaned my room, helped me dress. How am I expected to possess skills for things I've never done? Aha! Hmm? I found the perfect job for our Cinderella. Magic! <laughs> She used like alchemy to summon a broom. It's like <laughs> I have the perfect job. And then she like bites her thumb, Naruto style, and makes the summoning circle. Plays like the Full Metal Alchemist theme in the background. And, like, and then Barbie's like, oh, 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 like uh, summons up out of uh, the ground. Yeah, eyes are eyes glow white. Light <laughs> beams from her eyes as she summons this broom. Ta da! Saki will be in charge of sweeping <coughs> the marching floors. What? Perfect. Even she should be able to do that. Could you, princess? Oh. Could you, princess? I refuse. But well, look, I even, I even put more blood down on the summoning circle than did <laughs> a cute little ribbon on the broom just for you. It's your very own special, special broom. broom. A princess does not clean. 
Hard-headed as ever. Don't worry, I, I have a fix for this. Ugh! Suddenly, the broom flies into my hands. I am pulled helplessly along as the thing begins to sweep the floors. I try to pull my hands away, but they may as well be glued onto the broom. They do not budge. What have you done? You should be thanking me. I'm helping you with your duties. She's not a very good witch. <laughs> Delora, isn't this a bit too much? No. Oh, nonsense. The princess is learning useful new skills. Mr. Broom will teach her everything she needs to know. She's talking to Saki like I talk to my preschoolers. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> if the floor is dirty, Mr. Broom will come to life and start sweeping, and it will not stop until the floors are spotless. You What? You, you cursed the blood broom? <laughs> Come on, Parfait, we've got time for a cup of tea. But... She'll be fine. A little sweeping never killed anyone. It's just in. Local woman killed. <laughs> By Bruce. By like broom. beating her down. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> it considers her a dirt spot on the ground. She's trash. You are dreadful. Enjoy your time with Mr. Broom. Wait! Did they really just leave? Ugh! Hey, slow down! The broom begins to sweep faster! Despite my protests, I am still forced like a puppet to sweep the floors with grudgingly tan tenacity. Yeah. <coughs> the floor is spotless. Oh my god. What the fuck? It has its own emotions. <laughs> I can barely catch my breath after that! Princess, Parfait sent me to check. <gasps> How lovely! It's so clean! I can see my reflection in the floorboards! I'm impressed. Do not even think about stepping into this room with your dirty shoes! Goodness, I didn't know princesses could be such terrifying creatures. You've never been in this entire game. <laughs> <laughs> You are aware that the March Inn is opening soon, yes? The floor isn't just going to stay clean forever. Then do not open the March Inn! I don't... Once again, don't... I mean, don't... <laughs> you piece of shit, Saki. <laughs> don't do it! I do sympathize with you, princess. It's difficult adjusting to the commoner's life. What would you know about that? It's her mother. Oh no, it's a man. More than you think. What? Oh, did I let that slip? That was my mistake. Karma just smiles at me, eyes gleaming with playful mischief. I like the idea of Karma being like, here, say something that Karma would say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just say, 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 like, say... <laughs> say unique New York. Unique New York. And then I imagine like she has a or he has, he has a follow up like oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a very ugly laugh. <laughs> He's, like, <laughs> He's definitely hiding something. My hands are red and sore from all the sleep <laughs> sweeping at, all the sleeping around that I've done today. <laughs> Everyone knows I have to slap myself really hard in the face <laughs> to go to sleep. I remember the salve Anise offered me when I first woke up in my room. Surely that will help somewhat. I apply it to my hands and find, to my surprise, that it's very effective. Most of the redness quickly fades along with the pain. Is this what my life will be like if I do not break the curse, forced to work day in and day out? I cannot let things stay as they are. I must act. I lie down to rest. Tiredness falls upon me like a heavy, suffocating blanket. So fucking dramatic. <laughs> like a heavy, suffocating blanket. <laughs> I close my eyes and feel myself shift into the darkness of sleep. I can have another flashback of my mom. Oh, thank God. Despite having slept for hours, I'm still tired when I wake. Welcome to being an adult, Saki. <laughs> it's so true. It's terrible. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I glance back at my hands and I remember the solve's effectiveness. 
Whatever a niece gave me really works. I should ask her to make me more. Sometimes I forget that we named this character Saki. <laughs> because we were drinking. Because <laughs> we were drinking Saki. Yeah. Don't you wish we'd named her something else? Yeah. Oh my gosh, my co-teacher knows how to say uh, Emmy's real name. What's Emmy's real name? It's, I can't even remember. <laughs> Emma Lang, I think she said it. Oh, jeez. And she was like, you say it that way. And now she writes it, like, into lessons and, like, a name, like, Emma Lang. And I'm like, you asshole. <laughs> Don't do it. Because <laughs> she can say it. And we're like, Princess Emmy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Emmy. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. I feel like this is not the last time I will need it. God. Yeah. No, watch, it turns out we're just dumb and all these names are very easy to pronounce. <laughs> Probably. His name is Brad, guys. <laughs> Seriously. I must act quickly. The sooner I break the curse, the better. I just have to figure out how to be kind. <laughs> the people who offered to help me are all here. Whom should I ask first? Oh, okay. Who do you want to ask first? Uh, definitely Rod. Rod. Because I care about him the most. Rod came to the Marchin today to discuss something with Parfait. This is just the third time he has visited the tavern since I have been here. I wonder what he discusses with Parfait. Rod's eyebrows furrow as soon as he sees me enter the room. Oh, it seems like the princess has something she would like to speak with you about, Prince Rod. And he like, and like, she turned like, they're both having a normalized conversation. She turns to look at, at Saki and then she turns back. And Rod has a spoonful of mashed potatoes <laughs> ready to go. He's like waiting. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna put him out. She probably already knows why I'm here. Thank you, Prince Rod, for telling me about this. I shall leave you with your princess now. Bye. <sighs> Rod's expression turns grim. He clearly disapproves of me, even just being in the same room as him. As soon as Parfait leaves, he shoots a glare in my direction. What do you want? All I have done is enter the room and he's already angry. I'm still not used to being treated like this by him. I'm here to ask you about goodness. You're asking the wrong person, Saki. <laughs> Terrible human being. I am not good. <laughs> Did I make the right choice by choosing to come to him? I do not intend to help you break your curse no matter what Lady Parfait says. Oh, pardon? Emmy, <laughs> Emmeline, and my mother have tried to be kind to you many times, but you only ever respond with disrespect and cruelty. Cruelty? You think I've been cruel to them? And then, like, it flashes back to a time <laughs> when, she, when she blandly just called Emmy, like, fucking, like, a bitch for, like... <laughs> I hope we become wonderful sisters someday. <laughs> Eat shit, Emmy. <laughs> Shut up, Emmy. Fuck you. How else would you describe your behavior? Why am I suddenly the one at fault? Their coming to the palace made my life miserable. I'm the victim here, not them. The others may think you're capable of goodness, but I severely doubt it. Thank God. I do not wish to work with you, so do not come to me for help. Excuse me. He turns around and begins to walk away, leaving me to stand alone in the room, even angrier than I was before. I smell pepper and mashed potatoes <laughs> as I walk as he walks away. How dare he treat me like this? I grab his arm and pull him around so he is facing me. I refuse to let him belittle me like this, especially when I am making a conscious effort to change. What if I can help you break your curse? Will you help me then? Rod fixes me with an icy stare, and he pulls away. I do not intend to break my curse. What? Rod shoots me one last glare before he leaves the marchin, leaving me to stand there, confused. If he does not intend to break his curse, then why is he even here? Dum dum <laughs> dum. I stare in horror at the floor. Gravel and sand are embedded between the floorboards. The wood beneath my feet is covered in thick muck. Oh, you know what this means? The broom. The mis Mr. Broom! Mr. Broom is in the corner. <sighs> oh no! S stop! I never thought I'd see this. The princess is actually sweeping. I'd say it's more like the broom is sweeping and the princess is just along for the ride. 
Any parfait, your orders have arrived. Where should I put them? Ah! At the back, please. Thank you. I glare at Garland he, as he begins to move. You! <gasps> <laughs> you are dirtying the floor! <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Carlin dashes across the floor with long steps in an attempt to leave as few footprints as possible. This was Dolores doing, wasn't it? Is it obvious? This has witch having fun written all over it. I need water. <laughs> wow, completely spotless. Let's go play outside in the mud and then come <laughs> back in. Just a fuck with You are the worst. Don't be mad at the broom, who's only now sentient because of the witch's powers, <laughs> princess. I was only trying to help you through its Naruto summoning. <laughs> it is doing nothing but making my life miserable. Lady Parfait, I must speak with you. I look up at the witch that has entered. She is a regular at the Marchant, according to Parfait and Delora, a good witch. She orders tea here from time to time. She has mud on her shoes! Why is she glaring at me like that? I believe it's because of your shoes, dear. I have just cleaned the floor! Oh, I'm sorry. I will clean it up at. I will clean up after myself right away. Good. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the princess is something else. I've never seen a witch so frightened of someone before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his dick falls out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, it's not like, like you like like it's like it's a detached itself. From his... <laughs> no, it pops out of his pants. You're saying, oh, he has a heavy cock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The witch hurriedly cleans up the track she's made coming in before going to speak with Parfait. Even though Parfait says that Delora and this witch are good, I do not trust her judgment. Take on me. Oh God. Uh -huh. Good Lord. Take on me. Okay. Take on me. All right. All right. Yes. Mitchell, totally cut that out if you feel like it was appropriate or not. Okay. Especially not when she considers Delora, who ruined my life, a good person. I put the broom back in its resting place before double-checking my work. Not that I am done. Now that I am done, I can continue to work on breaking my curse. Whom shall I ask for help today? I'm going to keep asking Rod. Oh, uh, tell you what we're going to do right now. We're going to save. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hang on a second. Alright, okay. And oh, Rod. Yep. I glance over at Rod as he enters the tavern. That was almost perfect timing. Uh, he told me that he does not intend to break his curse, yet here he is again. Rod must sense my eyes on him because the minute he walks in, he turns to look at me. Nope. <laughs> Still has mashed potatoes. <laughs> His expression is as cold and unmoving as always. He pointedly leaves the tavern area and enters the reception. I follow after him. I told you to find someone else. What can I do to make you stop hating me? I don't know. What? <laughs> you said that whatever I had done to you and your family was bad. So if I reverse that, I might get a good deed. You truly do not understand how goodness works, do you? I do. I would not be asking you if I did. Rod closes his eyes and rubs the back of his neck. He looks thoughtful, but also irritated. I intend to break my curse as soon as possible, and I will do whatever it takes. And it seems to me that the easiest way to achieve a good deed is to fix the supposedly bad things I have already done. So are you going to help me or not? Tell Lady Parfait I will see her another time. Out. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> he leaves the room without answering my question. I ball my hands into fists, and he calls me the cruel one. It's because you are cruel. 
bitch. A month, oh damn. A month has passed and I have not yet completed even one good deed. Not for any lack of trying, though. I have been asking around for advice on how to be a good person and received various answers. <laughs> how do I be a good person? <laughs> what makes someone good? I'd say being selfless. I think it's important that you consider other other pe uh, <laughs> another person's feelings. Patience. You didn't say that. <laughs> it's been a month. Oh, uh, the ability to soothe even the most broken of hearts. <laughs> Forget I asked. <laughs> Bravery. Loyalty. You must be beautiful both inside and out. Right. <sighs> Must I be all those things in order to be good? According to Parfait, I cannot just pretend. It has to come from my heart. I place my hand on my chest and consider the steady pulse of my heartbeat, and then she rips it out. She's like, it's here! <laughs> it's like an Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that will not be easy. I close my eyes thinking of all the possible ways I might be able to break my curse, but in the end, my mind is blank. Mother, what am I supposed to do? Kill the weak. A dream? Oh no. Your personal feelings are nothing but a weakness for others to exploit. That is why you, d you do not show them. You only show them that you are strong. Yes, mother. You must not let false kindness deceive you. People will use n niceties? Yep. To trick you into exploiting your weak emotions. <laughs> oh my god. But you can trust me, Saki. I will never hurt you. I will never lie to you. I am all you need. Uh, I love you, Saki. I love you too, mother. <laughs> oh my god. Well, She's then. a fucking psycho. <laughs> How are those lessons of yours going? I hope you're not giving anyone a difficult time. I'm not the only one having a difficult time. Have you tried pairing up with someone? Pairing up? Some of the people at the tavern pair up to assist each other. Uh, two heads are, some, are better than one, there's something to say. It's not a bad idea, but the problem is with her. Who's going to volunteer to pair up with the Ice Princess? She has a point. <laughs> People may not glare at me anymore, but it does not escape me that I am still that I am still disliked. Yep. Oh. <laughs> most, <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> most of the boarders at the marching volunteered to help her, remember? And I haven't heard any of them retract their offers. It's only a matter of time. <sighs> Stop it, Delora. It's your choice, Princess. Pairing up is only a suggestion. <laughs> Would pairing up with someone really help me break my curse? What if they end up being an annoyance instead? Oh my god. I'm a dick. <laughs> princess? Mm. Um, excuse me, princess. <clears throat> I'm sorry for disturbing you, but you've just been staring at your tray and the customer is waiting for his order. Of course. Delora has me helping a niece today. The marchant is unexpectedly busy. They cannot keep up with all the customers. Stop daydreaming, Saki. Food doesn't deliver itself. I do not need you to tell me that. Meh. Meh. And we're done, because I dropped a shit ton of food, because I'm a dick. I stretch out on my bed. The stiff mattress does little to soothe my aching muscles. I was on my feet the entire day struggling to keep up with a, the steady stream of people that came into the marchant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a problem. <laughs> I've never seen the marchant this busy. I roll onto my stomach and bury my face into the, my pillow. My arms and my legs protest the movement. I refuse to live this type of life much longer. I need to break this curse as soon as possible. Why isn't Rod helping me? <laughs> Why don't you pair up with someone? <laughs> That's it. Pairing up might not be such a bad idea. 
Who should I pair up with? Rod! He's gonna be my friend, Mitch. What? Who did I unlock? Oh, so I guess you uh, get to pick between oh, we're... Karma. Rumble or Rod. We're definitely picking Rod. Rod it is. Yeah. Chapter 3, A Change, Change of pace. pace. You know, this is a good place to, uh, let me check the time real quick. No, I don't want to stop. <laughs> We've been doing it for an hour. <laughs> it's, it's time to stop. <gasps> All right, everyone. But I finally got to Rod! M Mitchell! <laughs> I finally got to run. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, what will happen next time on the Velvet Room, though? Bullshit. If you like the video, give it a like. If, you, if you're not a subscriber already, subscribe. Do it. And, uh, yeah, next time on the Velvet Room. Okay, bye. Bye.